Hi, Tom Dixon, your host of the Financial Experts Network. So you're thinking of doing a Roth IRA conversion and you are a charitable giver, meaning that you give to your favorite charitable causes on a regular basis. Well, this video with Brad Gornto, a state planning attorney and expert in a strategy that can help you maximize the tax benefit of your annual charitable giving is one you want to listen to. Now, before we get to Brad and the conversation that will follow, I just wanted to simply explain what Brad will discuss, and it involves the use of a special form of a charitable lead trust, otherwise known as a CLT, very common one that you've been used for years and years and years. But in particular, Brad focuses on a reversionary charitable lead trust, which he calls an ICLAT, ICLAT. So I wanted to explain that the ICLAT, this reversionary charitable lead trust has been around for over 50 years. It's something that actually Brad has helped nearly 150 families take advantage of when, again, they're giving on an annual basis. So simply what it does is it really helps you capture all of the tax benefit of your giving over years in your current year's tax return, right? So that's the essence of it. If you combine that with the fact that you may be looking to do a Roth IRA conversion, which is going to put you in a higher tax bracket by really capturing now immediately the tax benefit of your future giving, you'll help lessen the burden that you will otherwise realize with that Roth conversion. So. That's the essence of the idea. Uh, I encourage you to listen to my discussion with Brad. And then at the end, I will also do a, a little piece where I show you the numbers. I will uh, actually recap some of the numbers that I discussed with Brad. Now, as always, I encourage you to subscribe to our channel and certainly click on the bell to get notice of upcoming webinars. Our specialty is actually finding experts like Brad to help educate you on important personal finance and tax strategies and the like. So I hope you enjoyed. If you do, make sure you click on the like button. And uh, as always, of course, if you have comments or questions, feel free to post them. And then last but not least, we will post some resources in the description field as well. Okay. So I, I asked Brad to join us to give us an example of what a, a family might do. Again, if they're thinking about doing a a uh, traditional IRA conversion to a Roth IRA and their givers. Brad, can you give us some numbers and tell us what's possible? I'd be delighted to. Thanks for having me, Tom. Uh, be delighted to go through a pretty common example we're seeing. Um, let's assume uh, for various reasons, you and your team of financial, you know, your accountant, your financial planner have decided it's time for you to get out of the traditional IRA and get into the Roth before Congress makes it impossible for uh, high income folks even to consider a Roth. Let's assume you're, 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 you've already decided to give, to convert a half a million dollar Roth IRA to, IRA to a Roth. And as Tom hinted, let's assume you're charitably minded. Let's say you give $15,000 a year, typically some years higher, some years lower, but let's say 15 grand a year for, and you plan on doing that for the next 15 years because it's part of who you are. It's in your overall financial plan. Most, most importantly, you do it because you love to help others out. And many of you, I'm sure, do give at that level, basically less than, well, almost just over a thousand bucks a month. So would it be nice to capture the tax savings for your next 10 years of giving to this year when you know, you're doing this huge transaction in the form of a Roth conversion? Real simple example, those are our facts. <clears throat> Half a million dollar Roth conversion, let's say that you're in your mid 50s or mid 60s <clears throat> and you conservatively want to you know you consider that you're going to be doing this for the next 10 years <clears throat> let me just get to the facts and the results if you use an iCloud what the iCloud allows you to do is get a big deduction in year one now in this fact pattern it'll be uh, 100, uh, roughly 142 thousand dollars 
Um, and all that is is a present value calculation using the IRS's 1% discount rate uh, for that payment stream that you're planning to do to charity. Well, if you're converting a, a raw, so that's a deduction, that's great. What does it mean for me, Brad? How much tax savings are we gonna get? Well, you're most likely gonna be at your top income tax bracket if you convert a half a million dollar IRA to a Roth. You have a $500,000 1099, that's all ordinary income. Of course, you probably have some wages and some rental income already. So you're gonna be at the top bracket. Let's say that's 37%. That's gonna, that deduction will save you $52,000 on your tax return this year, okay? If you're in a state like California, which has a 13% income tax rate, and there are some uh, special rules in California, but we're just talking in generalities. Um, and under these circumstances, you would be able to, to take that deduction to a 13% rate. That'll save you another 18,000 and change. So if you couple the federal tax deduction and the federal tax savings at 52,500, and then the um, California, if you're a resident of California, another 18,500, you're saving 71, 70, $72,000 of tax savings this year. In that year, you do that Roth conversion. So you just save yourself $72,000 for just really continuing to do what you're already doing. And that is giving at 15,000 a year. So this is not, you know, making you do something that you wouldn't already be doing, which of course there's all types of other tools. You do a Roth conversion, write a big check to a donor advised fund for $200,000. Of course you can do that or give appreciated assets or do other things. There's a litany of other things. It, but that is technically making you do something you wouldn't already be doing. This is just replicating what you're already doing and saving you all those tax uh, this year. Um, so, Tom, that's a nutshell. Uh, I know I talked really fast there, but that's a simple, very conservative, quite frankly, modest example. We're doing them for people with, you know, wanting to convert a bigger IRA or um, maybe going out a longer term. And that's another easy way to get more tax savings. You could easily do a same giving, but go 15 years or 20 years. And, and then you're talking about saving more like 120, 150,000 of taxes if you really to go out a longer term. So that's the right. uh, that's the tool that is is, is, is relatively unknown. And, and if you're terribly minded and you're doing this, you certainly need to take a look at it, um, see if it's right for you. So what, what I love about this, Brad, is again, if you're thinking about doing a, a conversion to a Roth IRA and you're, you're concerned about the taxes, what you're doing with this ICLAT strategy is really accelerating the income tax benefits of your future giving. That's really what you're doing. And, and the cost to do this, you, you'll have to set up a, a trust. You want to retain a lawyer like Brad. And uh, Brad has deep expertise in this. Uh, and, and really, if you do work with a lawyer, you want to make sure they really understand how these ICLATs work. They are especially, there's no question, that's credible, been around for over 50 years. It's 100% IRS approved. But again, you need to make sure you have the right folks. If you're a do-it-yourself investor, okay, that's fine. Again, you want to make sure you have the right experts involved uh, to help you set up a strategy like this. And by the way, just to make it clear, the amounts could differ. You're, you may be contemplating uh, converting less or more in terms of the Roth sure. IRA. Your annual gifts may be less or more. That's fine. It still could be a very, very valid strategy for you, and it's one that simply – we put this together to make sure you understand it's out there, it's possible, and our advice is simply just to explore that. Uh, this idea, especially if you're looking to do a Roth IRA, which will trigger uh, really significant income taxes for many. Brad? Yeah, you know, all ordinary income. I mean, it's, it's at the top bracket. Of course, you could do this if you have a large capital gain event, other things, yeah. but so many, we thought it'd be great to do an example on Roth conversions just because it's such a huge talking point right now. And the legislation pending in Congress is, is looking to whittle away uh, the Roth conversion uh, availability um, for high income earners. So, um, Tom, you hit the nail on the head. I love how you articulate it. Just, just take a look at this and explore it. Um, and um, so, yeah, thank you so much for the opportunity to, to run through an example great. with you. Great. Uh, Brad, thank you, as always, for sharing uh, your expertise with us. And again, folks, uh, we encourage you to 
investigate this. If you work with a financial planner, you certainly want to uh, involve in, uh, them in this idea as well. And again, I encourage you to visit Brad's uh, website to, to research it further. And with that, Brad, again, uh, appreciate you being here and look forward to having you back. I'm looking forward to it as well. Thanks so much. Tom Dixon back once again, and I want to just walk you through the numbers for the examples that Brad and I just discussed. So let's start with the Roth conversion. And what this slide is really summarizing is what your Roth IRA would look like after you were to convert the money from a traditional IRA, and more specifically, uh, looking at a uh, significant tax liability. If you start in the first column on the left, that's your tra traditional IRA. If you were looking to move a half a million dollars into a Roth IRA, you would be in a very significant tax bracket, of course, and I think many of you are aware of that. Now, if, if you convert less, you convert, uh, you would fall into a different tax bracket for sure, but this uh, situation contemplates that, in our example, that you were to convert uh, a half a million dollars from your traditional IRA, well, guess what? We're assuming that you would be in the 35% tax bracket. So, so assuming you have outside funds to pay for that, which is usually recommended by the IRA uh, experts from Ed Slaw to Jim Lang to Bob Keebler and uh, others, uh, that certainly can can make sense. So what we're comparing on, again, the, on the column on the left is the traditional IRA, what you start with, it assumes that you have outside funds to uh, to pay for the ordinary income taxes that you are triggering. By the way, we're only looking at the federal uh, income taxes that you would uh, have as a result of that conversion. But net of all that, the goal would be to end up with a half a million dollars in your Roth IRA. Of course, there are many benefits to that, no question. Uh, but in addition to that, what I wanted to do is really illustrate a little more about the ICLAT strategy that I just discussed with Brad. And what this slide simply represents is what we discussed uh, in our, our conversation was the idea of someone giving $15,000 a year over a 10-year period. So part of what you're doing with the ICLAT strategy is that you are making a commitment. And that commitment, as far as the term and the amount, is really up to you. But part of why this is so advantageous right now is the discount rate that's prescribed by the IRS because of the low interest rates is at 1%. What that means in very simple terms is what you're doing here is you're calculating the, the net present value of your future gifts. We're doing this over a 10-year period. And what that means is that $150,000 paid over 10 years will result in an income tax deduction of over $142,000 to you now in present terms. So, so that's the calculation that is looking at, again, your future gifting and bringing that back to today's dollars for charitable income tax deduction on this year's return. Now, if you assume that, as we have on this slide, that your uh, rates, I, I bumped that rate up to 37%, uh, that obviously is a significant savings. Literally, that translates into the tax savings of 52,540. Uh, if you live in California, for example, that would also add savings of over $18,000. So if you put that together, between the federal and the state tax savings, you're now looking at $71,000. Now, part of why I wanted to illustrate this is to show you that uh, and why I think the strategy, again, if you're already a giver, that's the key here. This iCloud idea could really help you monetize in today's dollars and really just bundle all that into your current year's tax uh, savings in such a way that you could really offset the tax liability that you may trigger through a Roth conversion. So again, some of the assumptions there, you can see the 15,000, that 1% income tax rate, but again, the $71,000 certainly could go a long way towards 
offsetting the 175,000 or so that you may uh, owe on a half a million dollar conversion. So I hope you found this uh, replay to be helpful. I certainly encourage you to check out the iclat.net uh, website as we've had in the video. And certainly I have a longer form version of the webinar with Brad on the Financial Experts Network site. Certainly I encourage you to take advantage of that. So with that, good luck. And as always, I encourage you to lean on your financial planners and your tax advisors as well. But I encourage you to look at this if again, you're looking to make a conversion and you're already a charitable giver. So thanks so much for listening.